Boy, this is really heavy for me. It's heavy for me, and joining me now is a Russ Hoyt, Rick's brother, and Troy, Russ's son, Rick's nephew. Uh, first of all, I gotta ask you, when did you get the news, and what happened? So early this morning, um, around 6.30, I received a phone call that during rounds um, where Rick is living, they went in to check on him, and he was unresponsive, and they tried to revive him, and he was unresponsive again, and they determined that he had passed away early this morning. He, we believe he had complications from the respiratory issues he had about three years ago, and he had some serious bouts of pneumonia, although his health has been great recently, we think. We were just together. I, yeah, last we Thursday. We were just together last Thursday, and he looked healthy. And on Saturday, we were at an event where Rick made a speech and a presentation to Easter Seals, and he was healthy and vibrant. So I, I, I think his, I think his body it finally caught up with him all the battles that he went through fighting off pneumonia and I think it, it finally came back to, to say it was enough. You see him here looking so young, and your family is so special. What did he mean to you? Everything, um, mm. Steve. He was the older brother. Um, I, I was um, the youngest of three, and when Rick and I would go and do the presentations like we did mm -hmm. at the school in Hopkinton, Rick would introduce me as his baby brother, mm. um, and he truly was a, an older brother. He was sage. He was wise. Um, 31 years ago, I was considering proposing to my wife, and I went to Rick and I said, what do you think? Is, is she the right person? And he said, you go for it. If you don't, I will. <laughs> I love that. And 31, love that. 31 years later, he was right. So he was always gave good advice. He always took care of me. The reason why we're together on Thursday is to promote this race coming up on Saturday right. in honor of your dad. You were going to push I Rick was. in that race. I was, uh, yeah, I was caught off guard for sure because I was looking forward to that, putting in the training, and I'm still going to run the race for him, obviously, but it'll definitely feel a lot heavier doing that race for sure. How did Rick inspire you? Uh, ever since I was younger, just watching them cross the finish line year after year for the Boston Marathon, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that one day. And then he was texting me, talking to me, and he's like, you think you're going to do it one time? And I was like, Maybe, and then when our grandfather passed, mm -hmm. I was like, that's it, doing it right You're there. doing it. So. Boston Marathon, your dad, your brother, 32 together. Yeah. Boston strong. How do you think that, what the family mean to Boston? It, it's incredible. We still have people reaching out to us on a daily basis, Steve, saying that it inspired them to get off the couch and become healthy. We've had people mm -hmm. who said, they were down in the dumps, they were depressed, they were co considering suicide, saw Dad and Rick's story, and it turned their life around. They, they started to run, they started to make an effort to do something to make their life better because they were inspired by them. People with disabilities now have opportunities that never existed before because of the doors they open. It's just incredible. Rick and your dad are in heaven together. They are. I tell you, I think, Steve, what he's doing now is he finally got out of that wheelchair and he's pushing Dad in a race now. Mm. Wow. And the race will go on Saturday? We're still trying to make that decision, but I think we're leaning in that direction. God bless you guys. God bless your family. Thank you for taking the time to come in. Thanks, Thank Steve. you. Boston Strong. Awesome. Love you guys. Lisa and Paula, back to you. Thank you so much, Steve, and to the Hoyt family.